In this video of genetics, we will be discussing about the aneuploidy, which refers to the presence of abnormal number of chromosomes in the cell. If we talk about humans, we know humans have 46 chromosome number in the cell. This is the normal number. Either the presence of higher number like 47, 48, 49 chromosomes or lower like 45, 44, 43 or the abnormal number of chromosomes in the cell. So if 46 is the normal number of chromosomes in the cell, then these higher or lower number of chromosomes are the aneuploidy. So first question is the where from the aneuploidy arises. The aneuploidy occurs during the cell division. It's actually when there is any error in the cell division with which some cell gets more chromosomes and some gets less than the normal that ultimately leads to the aneuploidy. We see here during the cell division most of the errors that contributes to the aneuploidy are non-disjunction you know when the homologous chromosomes fails to separate then there is spindle assembly disruption that's when there is defect in SAC spindle assembly checkpoint. Other factors also include deletion where some part of the chromosome is deleted due to error and finally we have translocation in which some arm or part of chromosome is translocated between different chromosomes. Now let's see what are the types of aneuploidy. We have two types of aneuploidy hypoploidy and hyperploidy. The hyperploidy is when the chromosome number decreases from the normal while as the hyperploidy is when the chromosome number increases from the normal. Looking at the hyperploidy it is further classified into two types. First one is the monosomy 2n-1 condition and the other one is nullisomy that is 2n-2 condition. While as the hyperploidy has been classified into trisomy having 2n-1 condition and tetrasomy having 2n-2 condition. Now first of all let's see what are the different monosomy conditions occurring in humans. In monosomy aneuploidy the cell has got one chromosome number less than the normal one. Like we have Turner syndrome having X0 condition also known as 45 X0 condition. This monosomy condition is seen in female in which female is missing the 1X chromosome. So here in this case the female has got only 1X chromosome instead of 2X that's 45 X0 condition. Other monosomy condition is the Creutzfeldt syndrome or you can say Creutzfeldt syndrome in which there is deletion of P arm of fifth chromosome so called as PyP monosomy also. Now looking at nullisomy aneuploidy here in this condition the gamete cell does not receive the homologous pair of chromosomes at all. So two chromosomes are missing from the cell which means no complete genetic information is present in the cell. So nullisomy gametes are rendered non-viable for fertilization. Now let's move towards the trisomy that's 2n plus 1 condition. Here we have three copies of chromosomes instead of two. Here we see trisomy is further classified into autosomal related trisomy and sex related trisomy. In autosomal related trisomy the aneuploidy is seen in autosomes only and for that we have three important trisomies found in humans. Downer syndrome, Edwards syndrome and Patau syndrome. The Downer syndrome is the trisomy of 21st chromosome. The Edwards syndrome is the trisomy of 18th chromosome and Patau syndrome is the trisomy of 13th chromosome. Then we have another trisomy named as Warkeni syndrome which is the trisomy of 8th chromosome but this is not familiar as much as Downer syndrome, Edwards syndrome and Patau syndrome are. Now let's jump towards the sex related trisomy. In this class of trisomy we have super male or Jacob syndrome first where we get the Y chromosome as an extra chromosome having condition 44XYY otherwise the normal condition would have been 44XY condition but here we have 44XYY double Y so we are getting extra Y chromosome here in this condition then there is super female condition where there is extra X chromosome thus taking the condition to 44 triple X 44 XXX and finally we have Kleinfelter syndrome where in male there is presence of extra X chromosome thus turning the chromosomal condition as 44 XXY otherwise the condition should have been 44 XY but here we have 2 X chromosome 44 XXY so these are the trisomies now let's look at the tetrasomy 
Here in this condition, we have the presence of extra two chromosomes that's taking the condition to the 2n plus 2 condition. Some conditions that we see in humans are extreme super male, where males get extra two copies of Y chromosome, having condition as 44x triple Y, 44x Y Y Y. Second example is the extreme super female, where females get extra two copies of X chromosomes, having condition as 44. 4 times x, 44 x, 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 x. Otherwise, the normal condition should have been 44 x, x. And finally, there is extreme Klinefelter syndrome, where males get two extra x chromosomes, thus turning the condition into 44 x, 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 y, or 44 3 times x and y. Otherwise, the normal condition should have been 44 x, y. So this concludes our aneuploidy where we saw the classification of aneuploidy and various types of examples having different number of chromosomes in the cell. In the upcoming video we will be discussing about the trisomy in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.